In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness there's no God but God, and Prophet Muhammad is his slave and messenger. And I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Satan. In this video, I'd like to discuss about the Mamedi, about the solar eclipse, about Hurricane Harvey, and Allah, the unique creator of all that exists. And I believe that the Hurricane uh, Hurricane Harvey is a direct result of some bad deeds that people have done. So it's a, a pun an obvious punishment from Allah, the unique creator of all that exists. And I'll explain why. So by reading the Quran and other holy books and wisdom books that we know that Allah, the unique creator of all that exists, has power over all things. That's what Allah says in the Quran, the unique creator of all that exists, uh, mentions in the Torah, illustrated o over illustrations, um, examples over examples of how Allah has power over all things. So we know that Allah can punish and Allah can reward. So by doing good deeds, we obviously get reward for that, and doing bad deeds, we get punished for that. So this Hurricane Harvey, which is doing a lot of devastation in the United States right now, is an obvious punishment from Allah, the unique creator of all that exists, no matter how you slice it, no, how, no matter how you look at it. Now, what I believe was the the reason why did this hurricane um, created so much devastation was due to the solar eclipse. Now, not the solar eclipse per se, but how people were so um, almost worshiping this the solar eclipse by investing so much energy and so much like homage and so much like. Uh, good or bad omens that were going to come from this solar eclipse that it was going to change things it was going to you know what I mean and, and completely overlooking Allah the unique creator of all that exists and I looked at a lot of who people who call themselves light workers and other spiritual uh, people who were all making predictions and how good omens were going to be happening from this solar eclipse and how it was going to do this and it was going to do that and it was going to do that you know what I mean completely overlooking the creator of all that exists completely overlooking our maker our creator um, who has power over all things so I really believe that that this Hurricane Harvey is a direct punishment from the people of the United States worshipping this solar, ecl oh, solar eclipse that millions went out and watched the solar eclipse um, so much hype was put into the sol so, uh, solar eclipse and so many good or bad omens uh, were predicted from this solar eclipse I've listened to a lot of different people and almost every so-called spiritual person um, none in the Muslim world I didn't really see any Muslims talk about it but people who are like call themselves light workers or things you know in the spiritual field would um, predominantly all have made predictions and good omens that were going to happen from this and as Allah says in the Quran that uh, not to pay homage to the sun or the moon, but to pay homage to Allah, the unique creator of all that exists, who created them. And um, Allah says other things too, that people who predict good or bad omens from the movements of the stars and celestial objects are soothsayers, which means that they're fortune tellers. They're predicting good or bad future events through the positions and movements of stars and other celestial objects. So people who are predicting um, these uh, this solar eclipse as a, a good omen, as a reset, 
this is all fortune telling. This is all BS. This is all, um, you know, not going to the not going to Allah. Not not realizing that Allah has power over all things. Um, you know, even the leader of the United States went out, um, paid homage to the sun and the moon in this solar eclipse. And I believe it's a direct punishment to the United States um, through this um, hurricane. And there's another hurricane behind uh, Hurricane Harvey, which may or may not hit the United States. We'll have to see. I believe if the United States people repent and ask for forgiveness, that these um, punishments can be removed, if not lessened. So, it's really important to realize that Allah, the unique creator of all, this, all exists, has power over things, not to look at celestial events um, in any significant importance that Allah says in the Quran that the sun and the moon He put in service for us. There, there are there are servants, uh, put animals in this earth f for, to serve us, and it's for us to be grateful to Allah um, that He put these things into service for us here to be grateful but people in general weren't grateful people were looking at this as an o a good or bad omen uh, predominantly a good omen and now they're being punished for it um, so that's what I believe is happening right now um, I also wanted to mention about the Mehdi um, one important thing to understand to realize who the Mehdi is is to know that He'll be the, the Mehdi means the guided one. So if, if someone wants to realize who the Mehdi is, we'll have to realize that he is the most guided one. Um, and the appearance of the Mehdi, which is foretold by Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, in the Hadiths and his physical attributes and characteristics. So a combination between seeing how guided he is and by the physical uh, characteristics um, and mannerisms of um, someone is the way to gauge um, a good way to gauge who is the Meti. So someone who's coming out with high level of knowledge um, gained through the Quran and other wisdom books like the Torah and um, things like that and who has the closest connection with Allah who is basically a representative uh, uh, of Allah on this earth to help guide humanity closer to Allah, the unique creator of all that exists. So that's my take on all that. Um, the people of the United States and worldwide really have to become closer with Allah, the unique creator of all exists. Do not pay homage to the sun, moon, or the stars, or the positions of the planets, or whatever that. Allah has power over all things. He can make good things happen. He can make bad things happen. It's all up to Allah. And a reflection of that is Allah says in the Quran that He deals with us according to our deeds. So it doesn't matter what position the sun is or Mercury or whatever planet. It's in our good deeds. He's going to deal with us according to our deeds. So we do good deeds, then... He'll reward us. If we do bad deeds, we'll get punished for them. Unless He forgives us for those. So, we really have to change our mindset into realizing that Allah, the unique creator of all that exists, has power over all things. It doesn't matter, if solar, it doesn't matter about the solar eclipse. Um, it doesn't matter where the moon, or the sun, or Venus, or whatever is positioned in the sky. It's a representation of our deeds, and Allah will deal, us, deal with us according to our deeds. So, you know, I, I wanted to come up, come out with this video more early before the solar eclipse, but I just wanted to see how the people were going to um, interpret this solar eclipse, if they were going to create partners with Allah. Where they're going to make omens, good or bad omens, from the position of the, the sun and the moon. 
where they're going to give so much of their energy and uh, homage and and worship to this sun and the moon and so I just really wanted to see and see what happened and now we see uh, Hurricane Harvey and a possible another big hur hurricane coming behind uh, Hurricane Harvey so uh, the United States is being punished right now for for its bad deeds for associating partners with a law the unique creator of all that exists so uh, they got a, a, a they're in a, in a predicament right now, so I hope they'll, they get it and they'll they'll start worshiping a law, unique creator of all that exists. So um, it's really important to understand that and not give homage to celestial objects. And you know, instead of going out and looking at the sun. Uh, eclipse. They should have been doing a prayer. They should have been doing something pleasing to Allah, not paying homage to the sun and the moon. So it's going to be interesting. Um, in the next, in about seven years from now, there's going to be another solar eclipse over the United States, and hopefully, the Americans and the people of the world will uh, learn their lesson from this and. Um, not repeat the same mistake so we'll see what happens in seven years inshallah and um, you know don't don't pay attention to where the positions of the stars are they're not gonna affect uh, good or bad omens in your life the only thing is through Allah the unique creator of all that exists um, there can be some influences from different things but uh, Obviously, Allah, the unique creator of all that exists, has power over all things. So the ultimate power comes from Allah. There can be some influences from this, that, and the other thing. But ultimately, Allah has power over all things. And good or bad omens from the position of stars, moons, and other celestial objects have no credence on uh, good or bad things that will happen. So, like I said, Allah has power over all things. Allah has control of everything. Um, nothing happens besides the will of Allah, the unique creator of all that exists. So, uh, I can't really uh, <laughs> um, say much more than that. Um, Peace and blessings be upon us all. May Allah guide us and be true to Allah and worship Allah alone, the unique creator of all that exists. Take care. All the best. Peace and blessings.